Hello, and welcome to Team 10435 Circuit Breakers Control Award video. Our robot currently scores 119 points in Thomas with a 4 range starting stack. At the start, a Logitech webcam using TensorFlow scans the starting stack to detect how many rings are on the field. Assuming a 4 ring stack, the robot then shoots 7 rings into the high goal, delivers 2 wobble goals to the correct target zone, and parks on the line. Here on the screen now are the scores we get for each ring randomization. Part of what makes our autonomous so accurate is our PIDF control loop on our shooting flywheel. A PIDF control loop is widely used in real industry machines to control how a motor moves from one position or speed to another. We use it in our robot to maintain the RPM of the flywheel so each ring launches at the same height. Playing right now are some examples of the shooting and you can see each ring enters the tower at roughly around the same height. We have three odometers on our robot that all help determine our robot's position on the field. Odometers are free spinning wheels with encoders attached to them. So when the robot moves, the wheels spin the encoder and that sends feedback to the robot telling it how far each wheel has traveled. And then with some significant math, the robot is able to determine its current coordinate position and heading on the field. This is very useful for our Thomas and for our driver enhancements in Teleop. In Teleop, using our odometry and our expansion hub IMU, the driver can hit one button and have the robot automatically turn to face towards the tower goal. This is very useful for eliminating driver error and has helped us achieve an average of 34 rings in Teleop, which is where the majority of our points come from. Even if we push the robot around, you can see it will still lock onto the tower, hold its heading, and land its shots. We want to say thank you to our sponsors and thank you for watching our control award video.